Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 8. I am hungry again. Some months back, the center received a bunch of coyote pups who were orphaned after their mother was killed in a hit-and-run accident on a freeway. They are growing up fast. A volunteer goes to check on them. Today we're going to be feeding the coyotes. They've been growing up so quickly and we're feeding them um, other food now feeding them through this box now because they are very high stress animals and this is the best way to be in contact with them without stressing them out. Although barn owls are different from screech owls, they can give the latter a run for their money when it comes to screeching. This is a barn owl. He's very loud, as you can tell. He's a juvenile, and you can tell that by his little feathers. like super talent onto this. <laughs> Whoa. 462. Uh, so when the squirrels come in this young, they wouldn't be weaned in the wild. So we feed them with syringes that kind of mimic the milk they would be getting from their mothers. The milk is warmed and it's from a powdered formula mix. Um, and ideally they will eat a certain number of milliliters of formula based on their body weight. Over here, a volunteer releases a Cooper's hawk. Also, we follow a couple of opossums who are going back to their new home. Should I dump them? Yeah, dump them. Wanna take the t-shirt? Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate to our cause, volunteer at our center, or simply share the word.